With a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome to Let's Play Sonic Lost World. Possibly the most controversial Sonic game in terms of fan and critical reception. For everyone who likes it, there's someone who dislikes it. And for everyone who dislikes it, there's about five grandmas with no opinion whatsoever. But let's hop into a new game. I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do about talking over cutscenes because I definitely talked over them in Subspace Emissary, that LP from a long while ago now, but there's a lot more voice acting in a game like Sonic Lost World. I think I'm probably going to stay silent, but if you guys just want me to talk over it, then by all means I'll, I'll, I'll just think of whatever comes to mind. So, ah, oh, the bloody gamepad question mark right on my face and just as soon as I was about to give in and actually get rid of the notification by reading the tutorial, that's when it goes away. But yes, here we go, the first checkpoint, a nice traditional design. I've just gotten off the back of beating Sonic Boom, so I'm a bit bored of bland stone checkpoints. But we're not really gonna think about Sonic Boom, because if you ask me, we're actually playing a very good Sonic game right now. It is my second favourite game in the series. My favourite is Sonic Adventure DX, it's just undeniably good. But Sonic Lost World is something I have a lot of personal memories with. I got it for free simply for buying Mario Kart 8. Buying that game gave me a free download code of Sonic Lost World. I played through the whole game with my girlfriend. I know that the game has like two at a time multiplayer, but we just took turns to do levels instead. And we both loved it. Couldn't understand why it's so criticised. But throughout the LP I will be responding to a lot of that. Go on. What do you want to tell me? Oh, well... Never mind, the tutorials are on the gamepad screen. I'm not recording that. I got a wisp in that level and I didn't even use it. Too focused on what I'm saying. We I'll respond to the common criticisms as the LP goes on. But that's not right now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Oh, stay calm, little guy. Sonic no, and I, Tails will get your buddies okay. back. Sonic, no, no, did right. you get those animals back from Eggman? Uh, just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. Hey, what? Oh, Let me go. I hate to think what Eggman's doing to those poor things. I'm on it. Yeah, don't think this is going to be like in Azuma 11 where there's lots of cut scenes at the start and then they kind of disappear. This game has lots of cut scenes throughout. You can receive Wisp items through Miiverse, but they just come in randomly and you can hold no more than five items and I never use them anyway. Well, I'll pick one up over here, now we've got an item. You use it by, on the gamepad there's a picture of a briefcase, I may as well equip this, th this lightning bolt thing that I still can't damage. 
Wait, I can demonstrate. Nope, that doesn't do it at all. That that button just makes the TV screen disappear. Transformation 101. Bunnies to bad nicks. Boom! Instant army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite a mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic! Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like destroying something! That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight. Even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! <laughs> Win or lose, I'll learn something about our enemy. So what I was saying about playing this game with my girlfriend and loving it, See, before starting Lost World, we actually started playing Sonic Heroes, and then we kind of decided, let's just play both, we'll play whichever one we feel like at the time. Sonic Heroes, to this day, we still haven't finished Sonic Lost World, we beat in a very short space of time. This is my first time playing it since then, I haven't practiced at all, because I know that I'm not going to be as good as a Sonic speedrunner. This is just a very casual playthrough of Sonic Lost World. No efforts to speedrun, in fact I've already gotten hit because I've forgotten the controls. That's how little I've practiced. And I'm not getting all the red rings either, I simply want to play through the game and have a good time. And if you are the kind of person who doubts Sonic Lost World, maybe I can try and explain why I like it so much. If you're someone who's never seen it before, then enjoy the cutscenes! They're funny. Now, what I was saying about getting this game for free, yes, it was one of the games in the free game promotion along with Mario Kart 8. Oh, well, I better be quiet, actually. Be down, because we're introduced to one of the greatest members of the Deadly Six, already the main antagonists of this game, apart from Dr. Eggman himself, obviously. This is Zaz, and he's a right laugh. He says whatever comes out of his mouth, and it's bloody hilarious. He shouts the most inane crap throughout the battle, and this battle with him is incredibly easy. You just have to avoid his very short stars attack, and then just knock him off his moon by jumping into it, homing attack him to death. His moon's a bit angry. It even appears like this in the mobile game Sonic Dash riding this moon. You beat him in much the same way. I'm not doing a very good job here. I'm not concentrating. Ah, get your head in the game, Sonic. Get your, get your, get your head in the game. There we go. That's the first and last time I've ever referenced High School Musical on this channel. Oh, dear. Now, I'll finish what I was saying about Mario Kart 8's promotion in a bit, and then move on to the controls. I'm sure you can pretty much tell what's going on, but gotta cover the basics, you know. Unfortunately, we don't get a cutscene this time, but trust me, the game's filled with them. We'll be looking at another cutscene before you know it. Meanwhile, we're going underground. Underground where the boys start playing and the girls... Start. I don't know the lyrics to that song, it's from the 70s. One of my mum's favourites, you know the jam, I respect you, but I don't know your lyrics because I'm too young. If you drop down then you've got to go through some really slow goo down there. So, try to stick to the top. Meanwhile, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. I did mention that I got this game for free with the Mario Kart 8 thing. Oh, first. On the bottom screen, you can tap the Wisp button. By bottom screen, I mean gamepad screen. You can change the angle with the control stick, but we just want to go forwards. Hit A, and you go mega fast! Up to a later point of the level. Yeah, so... I just loved this game so much when I played it with Ren, that I just decided when I went to a second-hand game store in Sheffield, I'm going to buy another copy, just so I have a, an actual box of it. 
show my support and love for the game, and if we include the 3DS version of the game, I technically own three Sonic Lost Worlds. There is also a main reason for this, like, I have a white Wii U, regrettably, so it didn't have enough space to download Sonic Lost World, so I had to get it onto my hard drive instead. And that kind of made the game lag on loading screens sometimes. It wouldn't be suitable for a Let's Play, so I kind of needed a copy of the game for this Let's Play anyway. But that's what I definitely do own. We're pretty much just cheating the level with the wisps here. But I'm going to stop soon because I want to explain some control. A and B, they just do the same thing. They're both jump buttons. Now, what I was doing, that was not a homing attack that you saw just there. Let's get that red ring, because I've been doing a splendid job of ignoring them throughout the game. Yeah, if I were to homing attack these, it would look like that with the A button. But if you press Y on them instead... Right, that, that was non-functional. But yes, if you press Y on an enemy, there won't be some enemies for a while, so I can't demonstrate it very well. But instead of just straight up killing them, you'll kind of zoom towards them and you have the option to kick them. Some enemies have to be defeated that way, so it's worth keeping in mind. Now ZR does... Now ZL does the spin dash to make you go super fast. First time it's been in a Sonic game in a while. While the Y button, when it's not part of a homing attack, it just kind of stops your momentum and makes you do a roll. I don't know what the point is, I guess just to give greater control of yourself, but it's, the Y button is only useful in the air. And that pretty much explains it for the controls apart from X, which does this bouncing ball thing from Sonic Adventure 2. So let's just get down here, release the animals, and move on to the next level. That was the first underground level, I'm sure there'll be more, with no more singing the jam. That's zone three of four. Worlds aren't long in Sonic Lost World. Windy Hill will be gone before you know it. We're going to move on to zone four now and still keep explaining the controls. Or not! Apparently I've done such a bad job of releasing animals from capsules in the first three levels, I haven't got enough. I'll off-screen beat a level again. Yeah, that's something I haven't really gone over yet. It's the same in all Sonic games, but of course, Dr. Eggman, all of his mechanical enemy robots have a real animal inside them as a power source, and this game requires you to release a certain amount of those animals to be able to unlock new levels. Every Zone 4 is locked off by a certain number of animals. Hey! I've been looking for you, Baldy McNose Hair. Who are your friends? <sighs> friends? These are nobody's friends. They are the Deadly Six, and they are your worst enemies. Jazz, show this blue pest how you do things up here. <sighs> With pleasure, I've been itching for a fun all day. <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath. Huh? Are you disrespecting me? Maybe. I'm gonna mess you up! I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. <laughs> I know the perfect spot to take care of you. That's funny, because I know the perfect spot to kick you. Yeah, that's why I love Zaz of the Deadly Six. I love all the Deadly Six. I think they're great, but I'll go into more detail later when I don't have controls to explain. Before I explain control, let's actually use the spin dash for a change, by the way. And then just stop cancelling all the point of going fast. But yes, before I get back to controls, I've got to go something about over with something about Windy Hill while we're still in it. This stage is a stage in Super Smash Bros. I remember when it was first revealed for Smash Wii U, I thought, they're just going to give Sonic a stage from Lost World as its home stage? That doesn't really represent the Sonic series as a whole, but I'm so glad they did now because I love 
Lost World, and I will gladly play on Windy Hill Omega a lot of the time. It's even got a windmill in it! No! I have a lot of attachment to windmills because of the documentary We Love Roundabouts. I made with Ren about a roundabout with a windmill on top of it. Maybe some of my newer viewers don't know about that. I'm sure the ones who've been around for a while already do. I hadn't got any checkpoints yet, so it's all the way back to the start. If you hit one of those sheep, they don't cause you to lose rings or take damage. All they do is push you back. But they can push you off the side. So they're still a threat. <laughs> oh, we took that sheep's wool off. It looks pathetic. Let's spin dash again, because spin dash is the quickest way to move. And they were so kind to put it in Lost World after it had its big hiatus. You do it with ZL, I've already said that. As you may have noticed, just like in Sonic Colors, which is also where the name Baldy McNose hair comes from, we're going to be switching between 3D and 2D gameplay quite a lot. There's animal capsules here. Try to get them when you can unless you're trying to go for a speed high score. Because that's how you're going to be unlocking future level. But yeah, so I've already said what BA and X do, a BA and Y. X does the bouncing ball technique, which debuted in Sonic Adventure 2. Ah, damn bloody sunflower blade. Well, we can obviously go down. Right, they tricked me. Good one, Sonic Lost World. Again, really not a pro. As you can tell, we have to get the animals again because I bloody died. But yeah, X is used both for gaining extra bouncing height and it can be used as an attack from above like Mario's ground pound. It's pretty swift. And one of the more controversial uses of a button is that you use ZR to run. So if you want to be going at top speed unless you're using the spin dash, you have to be holding that button. And that's one of the few criticisms of the game I can agree with. It does get a bit tiresome. Definitely allows for more precision, and Sonic Lost World has a lot of precision platforming in it compared to compared to other recent Sonic games. So I can definitely see what they were going for, but I generally find myself holding ZR most of the time regardless. So maybe I can agree with you on that one. And maybe the motion sickness would bother some people, but I hate that complaint because it's parents complaining about motion sickness that turned the Mario series to crap. Not crap, but they used to make such great games like Sunshine and Galaxy and now it's just basic tosh like 3D Land and World because of people complaining about motion sickness. But maybe that's a rant for another time, not that I think I'm... That maybe I'll help you. Wow, a dead caterpillar was able to damage me. But yeah, every Zone 4 of a world has a member of the Deadly Six for you to fight in it. That's why there's six of them, one per world, you know? And Zaz is begging for a fight at the end. I'm gonna mess you up! That's probably ruined my audio balancing on Audacity. Very peaky. I'm not as good at the voice as Homestar Runnertron. Let's do a very small loop. Another boost ramp, checkpoint, and there he is. We've got to chase him for a bit so he proves how fast he can go. He's not even looking like he's running and he's holding a massive moon. But he can outrun us. Let's get as many rings as we can because we got a fight coming up. Tries to make one last ditch effort to chuck the moon at me. That's the first time in the LP I've ran up the wall. Sonic Lost World's main new gimmick, the fact that you can run along the wall and I've completely glazed over it and Zaz has nearly caught up to me. There we go. You're going home in a box! Zaz just has the best lines, but not the best fights. Admittedly, I failed to damage him there, but all you need to do, run underneath his moon and then hit him with a homing attack. I actually completed this boss battle months before I actually got the game for myself. I went to Nintendo World Store in New York, a story I've told in Let's Play Inazuma 11, because that's how I got my American Inazuma. And they had a Sonic Lost World demo, which was already on this boss battle, so... I, th I can't remember if I got to do the level before it, but I distinctly remember taking on the boss, 
And I was like, well that was easy, I'm not going to be buying this in a hurry. And I didn't buy it in a hurry, but I got it regardless and bloody loved it. Again, I got a wisp in that level and I neglected to use it. Alright, we good to go or what, Tails? Hmm. I built a TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look, fixing a propeller on a biplane? That's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right. Good to go! Cool! And there we go, in a single episode we have wiped out World 1 and guess what? It's a desert next! Everybody loves desert worlds, am I right? In the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Lost World, we'll head to this level.